Hello everybody, my name is Lucky Luxray and today I am bringing you the NCPL Season 10 Pokemon Draft League. This time it is Robin's Rules. We are in week three versus Zeb. And uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Zeb. I think I've mentioned him on the channel before, but he's a good friend of mine as well. And this week I'm going up against him. His team is pretty scary as well. He has an Iron Boulder and the Typhlosion Hisui form. And I was very afraid of those this week. So um, to give a little bit of a breakdown, uh, Mega Zam is really good versus him um, with Nasty Plot. Hidden Power Fire, just in case, because I believe he has a Scizor on his team. Didn't end up bringing it, but that's okay. Then there is Psy Shock to just do some damage to him. Um, rocks are good for Chip. Uh, Swampert and Klefki is a really good duo for most of his threats, like the um, Hisuian Typhlosion and the Iron Boulder, uh, respectively. And then there is, uh, <laughs> like, Typhlosion is very scary. Uh, Scarf. Eruption does a lot to my team, especially in the sun. Oh my god, especially in the sun. It is disgusting um, Raging Bolt probably wasn't the best bring here, but with his Mega Altaria um, I figured like I could still come in and threaten things like the uh, Hisuian Typhlosion if need be and the Alamomola uh, Victory Bell is really good on here, but um, in case Tarabagos came, I needed one, I needed rocks up, and two, like, Tarabagos did pretty well against me, I, I would have said, if he brought it. Um, but from here, it was just trying to build the perfect team to go up against him. So I brought Nasty Plot, Alakazam, especially defensive Raging Bolt for the Hisuian Typhlosion um, as a backup to my Klefki and Swampert, which, uh, Swampert is especially defensive with another Rindo Berry. Then there's a defensive keys with Switcheroo and uh, a Lagging Tail uh, for the Iron Boulder because I know he's going to have booster energy on it, or at least I thought he was going to have booster energy on it. And uh, I didn't want it to get out of hand, especially with its attack. And I was, I was, or speed, I was so scared. So I wanted to give it the Lagging Tail. Uh, then I have defensive Torkoal and Life Orb Physical Victory Bell. So, uh, let's get into the battle. So I lead off with Alakazam because I think that pressures a lot of his team. And I'm like, great, I have energy of all on this. I can just go ahead, Trace Regenerator in case he wants to flip turn out. And I can do hella damage and it almost Oko's. I'm like, shoot. He flip turns, gets out of there. And I'm like, okay, cool. I can just pivot into whatever I want. But Psyshock, I know can Oko. So I just go ahead and click it. And then he goes into Iron Boulder. I'm like, okay, great. Now I go straight in my Klefki because I want that out of there. And he reveals Throat Chop. And then I am able to switch root onto him, the lagging tail, so I know that he can't do anything about it. And then I go for foul play, just in case he wants to switch in uh, and try to get rid of Klefki. And then he goes smart. Uh, he goes into his Alamomola to get regen in his Rocky helmet as well. So I'm like, well, I think I can preserve Klefki as a sack uh, because I know that I don't want to switch in on anything. And if I want to free switch into something, I can just go ahead and do that. So then I go into Alakazam because I know this can't do anything. I can get a regenerator back up, but he doubles into Iron Boulder. I'm like, oh, okay, that's kind of scary for me. Um, and I was like, I can live any hit that he goes for. And I completely forget, like two turns ago, he just went for, uh, or three turns ago, he went for Throat Chop and I completely forget about it, but I go for the Energy Ball just in case. And he hits me with the Throat Chop, but thankfully I live on 2% and I'm like, holy Jesus, I completely forgot about that move. I did, I'm gonna be honest, I completely forgot about it. Uh, I'm like, okay. So then I just go ahead and clean it up with Mega Alakazam and he goes into Typhlosion and I figured, well, he's gotta be Scarf. If he's bringing this into Mega Alakazam, gotta be Scarf. So I doubled out into Klefki to sack it and he goes for Will-O-Wisp. I'm like, okay. Uh, not Scarf, that's fine with me. So then I click Thunder Wave just to be annoying, and he goes for Infernal Parade, knocks out my Klefki, thank you Klefki for doing your job. Then I go into Swampert, I'm like, great, what do I do here? I just go for Rocks to break a Focus Sash on the Hilego if I need to, get 25% in Altaria, and if he's not Heavy Duty Boots, I can get some Chip on the Typhlosion as well. And to pressure the Alamomola a little bit to not get regen all the way. So I'm like, well, let's go into Raging Bolt. He knocks off my leftovers, that's fine. And I'm like, okay, I can just 
fire off um, an electric move. Volt switch is free, so I'm like, I'm just gonna go for it again. And I click Volt switch here, and I see that he's air balloon. That's important because if he was choice scarf, I would not have went into Alakazam, which is what I'm gonna do now. And because I traced regenerator, I did get some HP back. So I'm like, well, uh, I traced beast boost. I'm faster than everything. And Alakazam just sweeps. Zam just goes ahead and sweeps because I can side shock this I can side shock the Nihilego everything dies there's like plus two Mega Zam is incredible this is energy ball fodder and I can go ahead and just Oko the Mega Altaria right away with another side shock so week three I'm three and oh I'm living the high life uh and we're good we're gonna can just hopefully keep the momentum rolling um Zeb was a great battle I love battling Zeb he's one of my good friends like I said earlier um and he didn't perform too well this season I believe overall but uh I liked his draft and I was excited to see what he did with it um and he did well with what he could i would say so um gg to zeb and we're gonna move on to week four versus nathan okay so time to go into week four versus nathan um to give a little bit of a breakdown we thought we as in me and robin thought that raging bolt was good for ogre pond to break both of its stabs uh, i could eat up any hit that i wanted to go for if it was physically defensive uh torkoal with the sun very good very good versus ogre pond as well uh, Swampert was needed for Zygarde because of phasing an ice move. Then we thought that Slitherwing could have a lot of potential here as well if we could get a chance to get a bulk up and just punch holes. Then uh, Tauros was really good because he didn't really have a lot for um, normal plus steel plus ground. And then we thought a cool little tech would be Life Orb Sheer Force Fire Blast for the Skarmory. Um, and then we thought that Victory Bell could work here, but I wanted to try Slitherwing for the first time, and then Oracorio uh, wasn't too good here. So with this team, I brought Nasty Plot Alakazam, a physically defensive Raging Bolt with leftovers, mixed defensive Torkoal with a little bit of physical and a little bit of Spadef, bulk up Slitherwing, the Life Orb Sheer Force Tauros, as mentioned before, and then Rindo Swamp just in case he has HP Grass on Mega Diancy, with a little bit of offense as well uh, to just hit back a little hard. So, let's get into the battle. I lead off with my Tauros, thinking that he's going to lead Skarmory to get rocks up, and I can just 2 KO it with Fire Blast right away. Uh, but he leads with Obscune, and he goes for Obstruct. So I'm thinking, okay, this thing's just going to be annoying. But he goes for Rain Dance. I'm like, okay, this thing's going to be really annoying. I go into Raging Bolt on his knockoff just to see what's going on. He clicks Obstruct again as I go for Dragon Tail. Just trying to phase this thing out because it's being annoying. And it doesn't work. So I'm like, okay, uh, I have to do something. And then he parting shots. Great. So now he goes into Diancy and I'm uh, I'm on the back foot here. He has me on the ropes a little bit. So I go into my Spadef Swampert just to eat any hit that he goes for. Moonblast would hurt, but Power Gem is good for me. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm just going to flip turn into Tauros to do some damage, but he reveals that he is weak armor Skarmory, so I can no longer go out into Tauros. I'm thinking Torkoal's free, because he doesn't really have anything for that. So I just fire off a Lava Plume to see how much damage it does. Uh, I, I'm assuming he is Guts, so I hope I don't burn, and I didn't get the burn. Uh, but with that damage, I see that he is especially defensive with leftovers. So I'm like, okay, let me just go right back into Raging Bolt to do any damage I can. He goes for knockoff again, cool. I just go for electric move, uh, Volt Switch to get in my Alakazam. Because I see that he has no move to hit me other than knockoff, and he could be afraid. So this turn is important, because if I get a nasty plot off, I can break through his entire team barring a Scarfer, and I'm at max HP, so I can like, kill anything pretty much, especially with rocks up. So if I nasty plot here on his obstruct, I win right here, right now. But if I click Focus Blast on his Obstruct or Dazzling Gleam on his Obstruct, I'm not as far ahead as I could be. So I go for Focus Blast and he clicks Obstruct. So I'm like, dang it, that was a free nasty plot, but it worked out for him because I was able to just sit there. But I go for Focus Blast again, because I'm thinking uh, either he's switching in or he's staying in and killing, letting this die, or uh, because my psychics are now free after that, 
or he goes into what I think is going to be his switch into this with his Zygarde and eat a hit. And based on this damage, he is max HP, max special defense, at least some sort of variant or very close to it. So I figured, okay, everything should be fine. Um, and I can just nasty plot here because he has his offenses are not good enough to uh, thousand arrows plus extreme speed does not kill. So I click nasty plot and I'm I'm in I'm in the driver's seat. E speed doesn't kill me. He has no priority after that except for maybe quick attack Jolteon, which if he would have brought that, that would have been the greatest ring of all time. But uh, he didn't. So I'm like, okay, I can just fire off a psychic and kill things. So psychic Jolteon gone. It's actually psychic shock gone he goes into obstagoon and he's banking on a miss he is he's absolutely banking on a miss because if i miss he's good but if he if i don't miss he loses immediately so i click for focus blast kills obstagoon mega alakazam has shown this season that it is busted absolutely broken and rocks are important here because it breaks the sturdy if it wasn't already broken i think i broke it with a flip turn earlier i click psychic because i'm dual psychic psy shock with focus blast because i figured okay um psychic into fighting coverage is all i need for his team uh and i'm like geez like zam is just too good because i think he thought that he lived psy shock now that i revealed it but then as soon as i click psychic he said oh no um and i'm like okay great so i'm like i win i win here ggs he goes for extreme speed and crits my alakazam and uh, it's annoying because i won right away but you know pokemon happens and i have to fight back from this now so i go out in the swampert and i'm like oh, i'm just gonna flip turn to see what he does and he goes for coil i'm like okay this is such a problem so now i have to rely on raging bolt to do something about this um and he goes for outrage that's fine um <laughs> i have to bring in swampert that was a misplay i should have ice beamed right away so i'm gonna ice beam now uh to put him in range of body slam from tauros because now he's he's in a great position he has uh, Mega Diancy, Ogre Pond, and Zygarde. Um, and he KOs the Carlos. Goodbye, uh, Swampert. So I'm hoping, like, okay, now I need Body Slam to kill this. And I crit him back. I would not have died to any move that he went for, I think. But the crit back just saved my butt. <laughs> and it was able able to bring back so now i'm like okay well it comes down to speed ties if i win speed ties i win the game if not i have to fight a little bit i win this speed tie turns out that he wasn't even max speed so it didn't matter on that one this one is a speed tie body slam okos if he's not too heavily invested into his hp or defense um and i mega diancy had no shot of living iron head uh so i'm like okay let me just fire off a body slam uh he spiky shields cool delays a little bit i go for body slam again and i win the speed tie this time and i'm able to oko the ogre pond so hey week four i'm four and oh i'm number one in my division and i'm just full throttle going through um this game could have played been played a little bit better but you know everything worked out uh, I can't complain whenever the victory says the Lucky Lux Rays won the battle. So, um, with that being said, your Lucky Lux Rays are now 4-0 and going into week 5. And I'm excited because I've, I've shown that, hey, I can still hang with the people here. And this, uh, there is there are, sorry, a bunch, and I mean a bunch of really good battlers in this, in this league. So, I'm excited to keep going, excited to keep doing what I'm doing. And I will see you guys in the week five six and seven of the ncpl pokemon draft league robin rules thank you <laughs>